Hi, this is Galik Goldfarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week, I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier, and happier place, and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So, how are you doing today? I hope that you are feeling open to change, because the quote of the day is, if you change the way you look at things, the things that you look at change. And this is by Wayne Dyer. Wow, how sometimes a small change of perception can have a major effect on your destiny. There are many things we say that we like, and there are other things that we say that we don't like, and we steer away from them. But if we keep an open mind, we can try out new avenues that can lead us to places that we never dreamed possible. The internet is a relatively new, and to most of us, uh, to the elder generations, um, people may not be using this tool uh, in, in a way that can help them. It can really help us improve every aspect of our life and on every single level. And if we don't use the internet for this, then we are wasting a great opportunity. But the internet is just one type of innovation. There are so many innovations uh, that, that sometimes we may not be open and willing to accept the advances that are happening in the world. We may prefer to stay in a place that what we know and what is familiar to us is, is best, instead of learning how to use the innovations for our own advantage and well-being. Every day there is a new technology that if accepted and used can improve our life dramatically. All we have to do is really be open and be more flexible to change around us. And in this way, we open ourselves up to worlds that we probably never even dreamed of. Now, depression is very common uh, nowadays, and this is a very unfortunate. We believe that we cannot take the burden of what we are feeling and what we are missing in our life. But what about taking a leap of faith and finding a new direction to your beliefs? I, for example, could not ever see myself using a dating app. This is just an example. I believe that finding the right match for me could not be done via the internet. But I was so wrong. To be so rigid and closed up to different opportunities, I remember thinking to myself that at my age it would be really difficult to meet a new partner. But this is so wrong today. It may have been right a few decades ago even one decade ago, but not today, when everything is so connected and there are so many opportunities out there. Whenever we feel that our options are limited and whenever we close our options down, we do so either because we, are not have, we don't have enough information or we are not using what is available to us. In our world, there is so much opportunity and it's all thanks to to the connectedness that we now have and to the innovation. We have no more excuses for not making enough money, for not being in a good relationship, and for not having the health we desire. We have all the information and much more than the information. We have access to so much uh, that, that can possibly, everything can help us uh, transform our lives. So to stay in a state of depression is really, uh, to, to be irresponsible because the only person responsible for our situation is us and when we are not open or not willing to open ourselves up to the options that are available to, available to us we are actually behaving irrationally and blocking our path to success happiness and fulfillment the limits humans have today are so far away from the limits we had two to three decades ago we can learn uh, online every single thing that we practically want to we can find a mate online we can improve our health online there are so many apps that can help us improve our health we can we can uh, travel the world and still work online we can do well now we can less travel because of the corona but um, hopefully this will uh, pass as well but everything really is so um, we have so many opportunities and um, also to make money in so many different ways so really if we open up to the options then we can take responsible choices there is no need to be closed down there are opportunities to do anything to study from the comfort of our own home and to gain the qualifications that we need online we can even make children at practically any age thanks to technology 
we are practically limitless. Therefore, the first step is to acknowledge where exactly you are in terms of your desires. When you acknowledge where you are and when you take responsibility for your current situation, it doesn't have to mean that you absolutely like where you are right now. But if you do not acknowledge where you are currently, how will you understand that you would like to improve your, your situation? If we do not acknowledge where we currently are and we look at options of allowing us to grow and improve ourselves in a way that suits us, we will become depressed with our current situation and very frustrated. Many people are stuck with certain beliefs that make their thoughts rigid, but actually the strongest trees are the trees that are the most flexible and can withstand the strong winds. Inflexibility is often the result of previous trauma. I understand this. Or from a child that was not allowed to express their curiosity and uh, not allowed to make their own choices and to take on the consequences of their own choices. So this is something, if, if you had such a childhood, you would become less flexible as an adult. Without being allowed to be different, a child will become rigid later on in life. So if you find yourself uh, like this, then know that it, it can be changed. If you find yourself feeling depressed about a state in your life, try to change the way you look at the situation and try to be more flexible to new opportunities for change. Look towards how innovation can help you achieve your goals in a way that you never believed possible. Open yourself up to something you have never tried before. Yes, I know it is not easy. And even if you did try previously something, do not give up. You can give it a second chance. Ask yourself if you really gave it a, a real first chance in the first place. Probably not. Open yourself and your mind to a new life. Rigidity is the sure path to a lonely, unfulfilled life, and this is not what you desire. Open up and accept what you can change, which is, first of all, your perspective. And take a leap of faith going down a new path, even, even if it is a little bit uncomfortable at first. Think about us as human beings. Humans were able to survive and thrive only because they had the flexibility to adapt to change. In all my years of business, I have made plans, endless plans, as to where I wanted to take my uh, my job or my or my business uh, plan. But it was always the flexibility that I had that allowed my plans to change and allowed me to reach success. Flexibility may seem like a, a weakness. But as with the tree, when you show that you can yield, you are showing your strength. So as I always do with these videos, I provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer can help you move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, where in my life can I open up and become more flexible to trying something new to help me reach a better place for me in my life? As usual, I recommend writing the question and your answer down in a notebook prepared for these coaching sessions. So the affirmation of the day that I want to end this video with is I am open to new things and I allow myself to try new paths regularly. I am open to new things and allow myself to try new paths regularly. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because an affirmation has the ability to change your life, to transform it completely. Once you affirm, you repeatedly affirm, then you will start, your subconscious mind will start to believe this and it will make it into your reality. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I hope you like what I'm uh, uploading and I hope you like this content. If you do, please leave a comment below. Don't be shy. And also, uh, please visit my website at thegorilladiet.com for anything to do with health and wellness. Thank you very much for joining me.